Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I have a compilation review to do and this is my very sparkly target from uh, Cool Deals. It was a PR package sent to me um, and I did say I wanted to get it finished so I can get the DMC codes of the sparkly gems. Um, but yeah, I know it's Cool Deals because they always put your name on it which I just think is such an extra special touch for a company to do. I don't like having my name on things. Okay, so uh, yeah, it was easy to work on. It's a round all crystal gem painting. Um, sorry about that, there's a bit of a clatter, wasn't it, opening those? Right, so this was my little key code that they sent me, the uh, inventory sheet. And this was Tiger, Tiger's head with the hot pink nose. Okay, right, and we've also got our little sticker uh, there as well with my name on just telling me what it is so that can go in my log book as well i do like keeping all these bits just in case okay right let's have a look at the canvas so it was a 32 colors which is wow for a 30 by 30 painting i think did we decide it was slightly smaller than 30 by 30 the actual drill field let me have a look oh might as well get my tray out as well because we're going to do a little bit of de kitting on this one so yeah it's a 24 centimeters by oops, <laughs> it's alive 24 centimeters which is nine and about nine and three quarter inches so yeah it's uh, it's just that little bit smaller but it will look super um in a say a 25 by 25 centimeter frame or a 30 by 30 with a nice edging on it oh look that one's just decided to have a little bit of a walk um it has got sticky on this top edge here and i should have used uh, washi tape really because it's come out a little bit sticky okay so it's lovely colors um I think the rendering is okay. It's not the best I've seen. It's certainly not the worst. Have I missed a gem out there? No, it's just the, it's just the colour there. Look, I keep looking at it thinking that there's two missing gems, but there isn't. It's just the colour of them. <laughs> They're a bit lighter than the ones around it. So anyway, that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> um, I'm not overly keen on the bright pink nose. I think I would have preferred it to have maybe, I don't know, the black or even the grey. I may have to change that out a little bit. And this eye definitely needs to have some black in the middle to match this eye because it just, I don't know, without the black in the eye, it's just not quite right. Something not quite right. And I have double checked the drills because I did think, oh, have I put some wrong uh, gems on it? Is there something wrong? But no, but the gems are absolutely brilliant quality. And look at that sparkle. Absolutely love the sparkle of them. I'm just not overly keen now I've got it done on the rendering of it. I like the colours. I like the way the colours blend in. But as I say, it, it, just a couple of little things. I mean, you know, I love my hot pink, but all I can do is when I look at the picture is look at the nose. And I think really it's a better picture than just looking at a pink nose. Um, yeah, even on the actual um, artwork of it there, you can see that you do. Just, well, maybe it's just me because I like my hot pink, but you're just really drawn to that pink nose. So, yeah, I, I'm going to possibly change that out and see how it looks. But I wanted to do it first and foremost with it being a, like a PR package um, for a proper review, just to show you what it actually looks like um, as it comes. Obviously, if you like it and, you know, it's fine for you, then you would just leave it as is. But uh, I'm finding as I go along with diamond painting, I'm starting to change things a little bit out now. I'm getting a bit more confident with it so I can think, all oh, right, well, I'll just, you know, take a couple of drills out there and add a couple of black ones in just to put the eye a bit more definition. Um, and I'll have a look at the nose. But then I also might think, Mm, no it was better how it was and put it back again but you can do that it's your canvas it's whatever you want to do with it okay um 
we are all DMC codes down here, or there are all codes down here for these gems. So I am going to be putting them all into little baggies in the gem order. Way more kitting up, more sort. Are they both the same one? Yeah, they are. I wonder why I kept both of them. Okay. Well, there's one off the canvas and one that was on the drills. <laughs> Tell you, I keep everything. Oh, dear. Uh, these storage boxes, I will just quickly mention these. I can't really remember where I got them from. Uh, but I wasn't overly impressed with the Tic Tac boxes. I did actually find that I knocked one on the floor and the lid came off. And I ended up with gems all over, which wasn't great. So I'm very clumsy. So I do find my bottles with the screw lids are better for me. I know a lot of people really do like the Tic Tac boxes. The other thing I found as well is that my pen doesn't fit in it. Um, and I did actually do this one a colour at a time. Rather than sectioning it off with it only being a small one, I just did one colour at a time, which then usually means, if you're anything like me, you miss one out. And you find that you've got to go back and put a colour in. Now, with the bottles, because they're that little bit rounder, you can dip into the bottle and get one out, get a, a gem out. Whereas with these, you find that the pen doesn't go in there. So if you've got your drill pen, it's not going to go in there. So it slows you down a bit because you're tipping them out into um, a tray. I did cotton on eventually that, yeah, you can use your pink pen to pick them up. Um, which does fit in these, but also it's taking the lid off as well, which is all giving you more of a spill aspect. And yeah, they do fit in there. So I say it took me a while to figure that one out. Oh dear. <laughs> but yeah, they're not my favourites. Um, whether I'll use these again or not, I don't know. But they were just handy, and I did want to give them a try. So that's just a little quick thing on those. Right. So let's get to this kitty now. Okay, what I'm going to do for now, I've got my little um, plastic tray. That I think I got these from the range. They were only about 30 pence or something like that. 30 pence, or did I get three for a pound? Anyway, it works out about the same, doesn't it? Um, and they're just about the width of a nice little bag. So I thought I would just put them in here for now. Been watching me a while, you will know that my crystals are all in these little bags and there's no numbers on these at all at the moment um my craft buddy ones have got numbers on but i'll match those up at a, a separate date i think or when i've got a bit better lighting and right so i'm going to write the numbers on these let me grab a pen my trusty scotty dog pen and i suppose i could use these really could use these no, I'm going to use these because this is going to be uh, how it is. So let's write these down. Hope I can read my own writing. So we have one, five, three. One, five, five, two, oh, eight, three, ten. I'm going to write them all out first because otherwise it could get very messy tipping them out and then trying to work out which is which so yeah the colors are lovely i really did enjoy um the sparkly gems i know some people have said that um it can hurt their eyes or give them a little bit of a headache working with sparkly gems all the time i was okay with it uh, it didn't really bother me but i can imagine if you're doing a bigger painting then yeah it may get um to your eyes you'll have to excuse my writing as long as i can read what it is um at the end then that's fine uh, i'm doing it on round um stickers these are stickers from uh, rebecca uh, add more zest used to be four kids at one four seven i ought to stop saying that really because she's been uh, add more zest it must be a, may, a year now possibly i don't know but uh, yeah i do buy quite a bit from her shop and I have been following her on YouTube for a long time. I am going to be doing her uh, event that she does in uh, June. Got my brain went then. And uh, yeah, see what she uh, 
does for that. Okay, I know she has been poorly. I think there may have been a bout of uh, the nasty little gremlin. Um, so get well soon to Rebecca and family. Uh, I'm not sure that she watches my videos, but anyway, I'll say it anyway. <laughs> Sending good wishes across the uh, cyber family of diamond painting. And just coming to the end. That is terrible. That doesn't look like a six, Liz. Uh, I'm going to blame being at college for this. And then that's B5200. I'm going to blame being at college for my awful writing. Because, yeah, it, uh, you had to write really, really fast in those days. We had no computer in those days. I sound like I'm going back to the ancient times, don't I? But yeah, I mean, we didn't even have calculators. Well, we did, but we weren't allowed to use them. Actually, I don't suppose kids even know what calculators are now either because they're on the phones, aren't they? <laughs> But yeah, you had to, you know, if you were taking notes or during a lecture or whatever, you had to write as fast as possible. And I found that I just started writing and writing and writing and writing faster and faster. And my handwriting ended up just looking like shorthand. So I might as well have uh, done shorthand. But anyway, so let's have a look at these gems and get them put away. Grab a tray as well, because I'm a very spilly person. So I've got these the right way around. So this is all 153. Okay, so we've a round gem. This is how all of my storage goes at the moment. And let's see how they tip out of these little containers. Do you just take... The... Actually, I'm going to take the lid off because I was finding as well, when I was tipping them out, that they get stuck on the edges there. Let me just uh, show you. I was finding they weren't tipping out properly. So... Yeah, you see, they, they sort of they get stuck on the edge, and I can't be doing with that. I'm having to give it a bit more welly. <laughs> so that's the first one done, and let's see how these stickers come off. So yeah, this one was a first um, crystal gem one, and also a first uh, using these little tic tac containers. That's hard to say, tic tac container. <laughs> right, so on to number two. So I hope everybody's well and that uh, life is treating you kindly. Um, we're having another nice sunny week here in the UK, which is marvellous. We're not used to it. Poor little Millie, our little Scotty dog, our Scottish Derrier, is uh, suffering in the heat. Um, she seems to be getting... Well, she's drinking gallons and unfortunately she has like one of these water dispenser drinking bowls where you, you have like one of the big bottles like you get in offices and things and a little tray at the bottom and as she drinks the water sort of like flows down into it. Well we found that that's now not working properly um, and it's not dispensing the water properly and things so we've got rid of that now. It was a bit of fun. Um, our previous dog used to have one as well and we thought it would be quite nice for Nilly to have one. So yeah, she, um, she's she been having well, lots of water so what we've done is gone out and bought her a water bowl which we thought was the same size as the one she had because we thought well if we put two out then uh, at least you know if one runs out she's always going to have another one. Uh, and this new one that we've got is like the size of a swimming pool. I don't know what size dog we thought we had, but goodness me. I know the man in uh, Pets at Home did give us a bit of a strange look when we bought it. Like, if this hot water bowl's for this dog, what are you doing? Bathing it in it? Or are you actually just giving it water? But yeah, to be fair, I'd sooner she has more water than less, you know, um, particularly in the hot weather. And I know the UK isn't as hot as some countries, and I really don't know how black dogs particularly um cope with this hot weather um yeah poor little millie anyway while we were in there because it was a really hot day and she'd come out was in with us in the car uh, this was last weekend and i said oh you know she's been really really good uh, we never leave her in the car on her own um you know because hubby didn't want to get in and out the car i just had a few errands to run 
I had to go to the post office and things, so it came with me. And I said, oh, you know, Millie's been a really, really good girl. Let's take it to Pets at Home, which is like a big multinational, big supermarket-sized pet shop that we have here in the UK. And she likes to go and see the bunnies. Yes, Millie likes bunnies as much as I do. <laughs> it runs in the family. And uh, yes, so we went to Pets at Home and they didn't have any bunnies. They had a couple of guinea pigs. We don't mind guinea pigs. We've had guinea pigs. The kids have had guinea pigs in the past. Um, but yes, yeah, so she had a look at them and we're just uh, walking down an aisle. And who should, oh, there's a couple more in there. Let me get those out. Who should come walking up to us? Then Lottie and my friend Lottie. Hello. <laughs> oh my God, Lottie. Yeah. You alright? I am, how are you? Fine. Oh, that's alright. How was she? Oh, little madam. <laughs> right, little diva. Is it Lottie? Yeah, it's amazing, don't you, mate? So, yeah, Millie's little friend Lottie comes trotting towards us. So, they had a real good sniff and it. Oh, it's you, it's you, and hello, how are you? And so, that was nice. So, we stood talking to them for quite a while and. Uh, there was quite a few other dogs in the store as well, so they had a good um, talk to the other dogs. You know, they do the go up and, you know, the wagging and everything. But there was um, a bulldog came up to Millie, and uh, I think he was only a young one, you know. He was still quite, you know, at the jumping around phase and everything. That's not the right number, Liz. That's 413. Ooh, I hope I've been getting the numbers right. Oh, no! We haven't. Look, I haven't got them in the right number order. Oh, they're not in the right DMC number order. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, what have I been doing? Right, okay, let's backtrack a bit. Let's backtrack. Right. Whew. Crisis averted. I've done this before, haven't I, on things? Oh, my goodness me. It's a good job I had the numbers written on the bags. I've put these back in the right order now. And I've looked through my stickers because I stick my stickers onto the corner of my desk, fortunately. And yeah, these are all thanks. <laughs> that would be a good start to starting off doing the uh, gems in proper number order, wouldn't it? And finding that I've put the wrong ones in the wrong bags. <gasps> oh dear. Phew. Right. If you're going to do it wrong, Liz, do it on camera so that everybody can see it. <laughs> Right, so yeah, it's a good job I was sort of like looking at numbers and looking at bags as well. <gasps> that could have been disastrous. <gasps> Crisis averted. Eh, hey, dear. Anyway, where was I? Oh, these aren't coming off for you very well. Definitely going to have to be some goo gone on there. Ugh. Right, excuse my nails, I've been gardening this morning, so yeah I've, I've scrubbed them as much as i can but if there's the odd little bit of uh, mud underneath them i do apologize i think i've got most of it out <laughs> just doing a bit of uh, found a bit of a dead plant in the corner of the garden and then you know what it's like when you go into a garden and you pick up one thing and you see something else and something else and the next minute you know you're on your hands and knees and pulling things out anyway maybe that's just me <laughs> So yeah, we're in uh, pets at home, and uh, yeah, there was this uh, bulldog. And so he was quite flighty; he was only a baby, and he just, you know, obviously thought, "Way well, hey, female dog, let's go and have a good sniff." Well, Millie just turned into a piranha <laughs> at him. <laughs> She's not very often like that with dogs. But we do have um, an advert here in the UK, and to be honest, I can't even remember what it's for, but it has this bulldog on it, and it skateboards. Well, it used to skateboard, and actually it might be Churchill Insurance, because they have, like, um, a bulldog as their Churchill's, like this bulldog, and a uh, little dog that they've had on the adverts for a while. And, uh, yeah, they... <laughs> So whenever she sees this bulldog on this skateboard, she goes bananas. She goes running at the telly. Rawr, 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 and then she savages a toy. And uh, 
and now the bulldog actually goes down a slide um if you've never seen the adverts they're brilliant sometimes well a lot of the time the adverts particularly with animals on are better than the tv programs that are on these days oh i sound like my mother <laughs> So yeah, um, so of course she, this, this bulldog now goes down this slide on the advert. Uh, whether it's a real bulldog um, that's actually doing the things or whether they've done it as CGI, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> she goes mad when she sees this bulldog on this slide. Now she's <laughs> so I think maybe she thought it was the bulldog off the advert. I don't know, but anyway, she she um, wasn't happy with him. And I said, oh dear, are you telling him off? And he just looked real crestfallen as if to say, oh, he only wanted to say hello. <laughs> but uh, yeah, oh, sounds like Hubby's just got his parcel. Um, I'm not going down because it's, uh, I think he's been buying some more new tops for summer, which is fine. Uh, online shopping seems to be our thing at the moment. Well, it has been for a while, to be fair, I think, for most people. Right, uh, let me just get this one, 414, check I'm still on the right one. Yeah, I mean, there was a French bulldog in there, and she was quite happy with the French bulldog. Oh, it was a gorgeous colour, it was like a, a grey colour, and it just looked like velvet. Uh, and he was lovely, and she was quite happy with him, but she wasn't having any with the bulldog. <laughs> Yeah, and then we just went round the whole shop, you know, she had a real good sniff at everything. she's very good to say to say that the food that she likes she will eat um quite fast well mainly if somebody comes to the house because obviously that you know somebody comes to the house the first thing they're going to do is get on the hands and knees and eat the dog treats off the floor you know and that's the one aim in life is to turn up and think oh that bone looks really really tasty let me have that um, so Millie always has to eat everything first with somebody different comes to the house, you know. Um, but she never takes anything off the shelves. She'll have a good look. Well, I say she never. She did once pick out her own toy. Um, she decided that there was a particular toy that she liked. That they always put them on the bottom shelves as well. Um, so she helped herself to the toy, so we had to buy that one. But other than that, food-wise, she's not bothered. Um, she can just sit and look at them. Uh, Lottie was uh, having a good look as well, but Lottie will apparently help herself to food, so you have to watch her. <laughs> but she's really funny, is uh, Lottie. She's a little shit so, and um, you know, her face is quite scrunched up. You know, the, like the flat noses. And if you give her something you know, a treat or whatever, she always sniffs it first and puts it right on the end of her nose and gives it a real good sniff. And then sometimes she'll take it off you and sometimes she won't. It just makes me laugh every time. Yeah, she's uh, really, really funny with the treats. Um, obviously, when she comes to stay, she will take them off us. And uh, mainly just to torment Millie, I think. You know, it's like uh, kids when they've both got sweets. Nobody wants to finish the sweets first. Because you want to have some left when your friend's not got any. <laughs> Oh dear. So yeah, so you can say, oh look, I've still got some of mine left and you've eaten all yours. Oh heck, kids, kids, kids. So yeah, that was quite a nice little uh, outing. Going to the uh, pets at home and then we decided to treat ourselves and we had a Mackie days. Oh. So it's like 
it's a shopping it's like an out of town shopping center where the pets at home is and uh, we have the river humber um running alongside of our city or alongside of uh, hull and uh, there is a Mackie Days on this, like it's like a shopping complex, um, you know, all big like warehouse type shops. And uh, yeah, so we, we got a McDonald's and we just go and sit and open the windows and watch the boats going by on the Humber and look at the Humber Bridge and just have uh, half an hour and eight hour dinner. So that was quite nice. And then we always get uh, a McFlurry and we get a little plain one we don't give it all to her but we get one of these smaller ones you know they're like, um, and uh, with nothing in it and just get millie a little ice cream i think i've mentioned before she loves mcdonald's ice cream but she doesn't like uh, anything that's expensive <laughs> i just suppose it's good uh, she only gets about you know a little bit we just leave her a little bit in the tub what we ought to do really is just get ours and do a scoop of ours into one of her own bowls but yeah we spoil her we get her her own little ice cream <laughs> i once said to the uh, man at mcdonald's oh we don't don't put a spoon in it because the dog can't use the spoon well <laughs> I don't know whether he thought I was kidding or not, but the look I got was just so funny. Oh dear. It, uh, yeah, it really made me laugh. I think he, he really, he was only a young lad. Um, uh, yeah. The way he just looked at me and said, what? And um, uh, all I could see then for the rest of the afternoon was Millie sat there with a spoon just eating a McFlurry, you know. <laughs> Dear. It it was quite busy as well. So Oh that's good, just in the middle of filming and uh, another package arrives. Yay! Do like my uh, packages. It's like Christmas every day. <laughs> oh dear. Now Hubby's got uh, his package and I've got mine. So that's good. We've got one each. Ooh, don't you fall over. Oh, I think, excuse me for sniffing, I think the pollen count must be quite high today because uh, I've got a bit of a sniffly nose. And I keep having to blow my nose. It's not good. Right. Let's see if I can get these off. Okay. So, yeah, what are you working on at the moment? What uh, diamond paintings are you doing? Are you taking part in any uh, of the uh, challenges that are going along? Uh, actually, this one will uh, go into the run free DP along, I think, because it's a four legged animal. So I will add that to the fun. Uh, that's uh, Mindy and Angie doing that one, which is quite good fun. I do like. Uh, taking part in challenges I, yes, I am doing one um, if you've seen some of my videos I am doing my own little challenge as part of somebody else's well as part of Rebecca's event not somebody else's Rebecca's event um, I'm going to do 30 craft buddy cards in 30 days in June and yes I am going to do them I'm going to make sure that every day I do some diamond painting because at the moment I just seem to be not managing my time very well and I'm not getting much time for me to just sit and do something. I do find diamond painting relaxing. Um, it's something that I do enjoy doing. And I think the motion of moving your pen to your canvas and back again um, is just very relaxing. And yeah, I can watch telly and I can keep an eye on hubby and keep an eye on Millie and everything. And uh, particularly in this hot weather, um, our living room is lovely because it's north facing. So we don't get direct sunlight into our living room. It's not great in winter because it makes it quite dark. But uh, in summer, it's lovely and cool. Sometimes it can be like just stepping into a fridge. It's great. And, uh, you know, you can just sit and diamond paint. You can't. Well, I would love to go into the garden and do it. Um, 
but at the moment, I know my friend Claire said she was, uh, Claire, Claire Diamond Paint was uh, diamond painting in the garden, but at the moment, our uh, back garden is south facing and it honestly it just gets so hot in there and i've mentioned before <clears throat> excuse me i'm getting a dry throat this must be uh hay fever as well why are you not coming off come on you little devil get off there um yeah it, it just gets too hot for me and i am quite fair skinned um i was blonde hair and blue eyes when i was born and my mum is gingery so she's got fair skin and blue eyes as well. I inherited that from my mum. And uh, yeah, I burn. I just look like a tomato or a lobster or whatever. And then I just get sore and peel. And then I just go as white again as ever. I never actually go brown. And I've talked about fake tans before. I'm no good with a fake tan. <laughs> so yeah, I tend not really to sit in the sun. I do like being outside. Um, I hopefully ordered a canopy. We've got like one of those swings, you know, like swing seats. Uh, we've had it a long time, but the canopy decided to just disappear one night into the sunset along with the um, umbrella that we had on the like little table and chairs, our little patio sets. So, and it was tearing and everything anyway. Uh, we were a bit naughty really. We used to leave it out in all weathers. We should really have folded it up and brought it in, but it was quite cumbersome and it was quite difficult to sort of like keep unfastening it all and doing it on by yourself, trying to then put it back on again. So it tended to just get left, um, which was the best one in the world with all the wind and rain and then all the sunshine on it. The material sort of, start, well, it does it rots away, doesn't it? It goes fully. So, yeah, it decided it had had enough of our garden and decided to go somewhere else. Um, I wonder who ever got it. Mind you, they'd have had to just put it in the dustbin because they wouldn't be able to use it. It wasn't in a very pleasant state when it left us. Uh, so, yeah, I've ordered another one of those. So, hopefully, I'll be able to go out and sit in the garden where it's nice and warm. But also, uh, be nice and shaded as well. Will be like sitting in the sun. He's a real sun worshipper. Um, but uh, sadly, I'm not. It was really funny. We, when we did used to go on holiday uh, abroad, um, I'd be the one sat with the big sunglasses, covered in sunscreen, uh, big hat on, uh, on the uh, lounger thing, you know, your, your sunbathing lounger thing, um, underneath the biggest umbrella I could possibly find. And uh, he'd be sat out there, you know, barely clothed, um, <laughs> and uh, a very low factor, which is very dangerous and don't recommend it, uh, a low factor sunscreen, and that just laid out there. So we had to just look like chalk and cheese, I suppose. <laughs> totally different ways of uh, being in the sun, but yeah, no, I can't be doing with uh, being sore. I used to try. Um, I know when I was younger, I used to try getting sunburnt and uh, my legs are like mill bottles. They're just so white, it's unbelievable. And um, what I used to do <laughs> was sit with my shorts on and find like a cool spot um, in the shade. So I'd be in the shade and then my two little legs would be just like in the sun. <laughs> I think my legs were so white that they just used to repel the sun. <laughs> so they never got a sunburn because the, the sun just used to bounce off them. Oh dear. But yeah, I did used to try all sorts of things because, of course, you know, I used to have these friends that were absolutely gorgeous and they used to tan beautifully, you know, and they'd wear the shorts and they'd have the long blonde thick hair and the nice figures and then they'd be a little dumpy me with it looked like a milk bottle trailing along behind them oh dear <laughs> i don't know there's no wonder i used to get bullied anyway fun and games so yeah it's quite nice it being warm but i say in the uk if it's warm for a day or a couple of days we make the most of it because that could possibly be our summer one of my other friends uh, 
on YouTube, Alicia, Alicia, Alicia Borealis as she is on YouTube. Uh, she's a teacher and she's hoping for nice weather in the school holidays. And I just said, it's not going to be nice weather in the school holidays. It always rains in the school holidays. <laughs> no, I'm keeping my fingers crossed because she's uh, worked really, really hard. And I think she graduates this year. So, yeah, I'm hoping that uh, it's nice weather for her. <laughs> Oh, now have I missed one out? 3835. 3836. 3837. No, I've just got those two the wrong way around. Look, and I went and checked them as well. Dear me. Dear, dear. As I say, if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. 3836. So that's the right one. I'm so pleased I wrote these labels out before I put them into the bags. Otherwise, there could be in all sorts of problems. Another disaster. Disaster. Making up my own language now. Disaster averted. <laughs> okay. And 3837. Right. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, so what I'll do um, with my friends' YouTube channels as well, the ones that I've been mentioning, I'll put the link down below. Um, we're all just little YouTubers. Well, I don't know how tall any of them are, but you know what I mean. We've all just got little channels. And, uh, yeah, we're just plodding along, uh, making content that hopefully people are enjoying. And, uh, yeah, just having a bit of fun. So if you want to join in with them as well, then uh, it would be much appreciated. We're all just out there, just having that little bit of fun and making YouTube videos. <laughs> uh, it's nice to know that there's somebody out there listening. <laughs> okay, down to the last couple of colours. Oh, I love that colour. That one really is pretty. So the gems on this were really good gems really you know no trash or anything and i have seen trash in gems um one of them i got like the uh, the outing you know like the bit where the gems have been pushed out um i got like the bit that was around the edges is it called punchinella um well, it is for sequins anyway isn't it the waste from sequins is called punchinella uh, what it is for diamond paints i don't know but uh, I'm not quite sure how they make them, but obviously it's punched out of uh, something. So, yeah, because I got the bit without the gems in. That was quite interesting. should have kept it, really, shouldn't I? And I could have showed you it. <laughs> but uh, not in these drills. These have been really, really nice gems drills to uh, work with. And, yeah, very sparkly. Oh, and I love that colour as well. So, so I'm going to, at the moment, keep these as they are. And then I'm going to match them up and see if any of my craft buddy gems match up. And then I'll have to see if any of the ones that I've got in my little red box match up as well. So that's going to be quite a fun task to do. Now they've called it Silver the B5200. Uh, sorry, they've called the Silver B5200. Speaking back to front now, Liz. <laughs> okay, just get that one there. Um, and these are just the clear crystals so whether I'll leave them in here or whether I'll put them in with all my others I've not decided yet but I thought I'd do the first step today um, and just come and have a little chat and say hello and see how everybody's getting on okay just get that last one off there these definitely need cleaning because they've not they are very, oh, they are very very sticky Okay, just get the labels off my desk. And so that is uh, my tiger, all nice and kitted down. Okay, very, very pretty, I must admit. I've uh, enjoyed doing him, but I just need to do a little couple of alterations on him. Okay, well, that's me done. Uh, as I, say, I may or may not do it on camera, just checking the gems out, but there's certainly plenty left. Uh, plenty for other projects and things, so that's really good. Just pop that in there to stop those, oops, pop it that way around, stop those flopping all over. 
Okay, well, if you've enjoyed uh, this little chat and seeing me do a little review on this tiger, then a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see what else I complete, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.